hello guys and thank you for tuning in to my channel today i will be removing tape and extensions my client has the micro links hybrid tape in so what she's going to do is she's going to leave in the micro links and i am going to remove the tape ends what you're going to do is start from the very last row at the bottom section of the hair and clip it up C22 adhesive remover so I can remove the tape in. What this does is it will dissolve the glue that's on the tape and this adhesive remover dissolves the glue pretty quick within like a few minutes. It has a citrus scent and it is oil based and it is also safe on the skin. So now what you're going to do is work your way up to the next row. But right here, I did see that I missed a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that one. What you want to do is get every piece. You don't want to skip no pieces because it will be hard to remove without that dissolving. So I'm going to spray front and back for each piece, each row. Circle back around, restart from the bottom, and then start the removal process. For the pieces that are a little tough to get off, um, after I spray it, I like to rub it together just so it can get in there really good. So like when I spray it, it kind of like soaks in a little better. So some pieces will be easy to take off and some pieces will be hard. You will see that towards the middle and the end of the video. spray each piece like I said working your way up from the bottom to the top once you get to the top all the pieces should have been sprayed that way it has set long enough so by the time you get to the bottom the solution should have been able to reach the inside of the tape and you can start the removal process a few pieces like I said will be um, hard to get off so once you get the tape off you might need to spray a little bit more of the dissolvent and then start combing the hair from the bottom to the top. So right here, I'm checking to see if there's more tape ends located throughout her hair at the top. Uh, so far, I don't see any, so I'm gonna work my way to the bottom to start removing those tape ends, the original ones that I did spray earlier. to do is grab the rat tail comb slide it in between the two pieces of the tape put the rat tail in wiggle it just a little bit 
and then I would try to open it up with my fingers. After I open it up, slide that bottom piece down. And as you can see right there, the tape uh, glue is caked up, guffed up on her hair. So that's when I said you gotta add, you gotta grab that spray again spray it on there, rub it on there, and then comb it out. So those tape ins they do last. A lot of people thinking the tape is gonna slip right, slip on out. Uh-uh, that stuff is strong. You see, I gotta reuse a remover uh, to get it out. And then when I do get it out, that tape or that glue is still like right there on her hair. But is it damaging to the hair? No, if it's um, removed by a professional or if the person know what they're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then yeah, you're gonna damage and pull out your hair. So you just use a solution, melt that glue off and comb it out and wash your hair and you're good to go. So don't forget to comb it out, comb it out, comb it out. Don't just remove the tape ends and then wash the hair. You're going to mat up your client's hair. You always comb it out. Even when you're removing braids, even if you're removing eye tips, micro links, tape ends, it's very important to comb, detangle the hair out before washing it. the difficult parts I would like to at least show you guys that sometimes you do run across struggle parts and this piece in particular right here did give me a hard time it took me like four attempts to try to get it off dissolvent to help me loosen up this track. particular install I did not do but after today of the removal process she has been a returning client ever since so what happened was the tape ends already have tape on there what I discovered was it was double tape so it was four pieces that's why it was hard to come off so that piece right there that I'm coming out it was it was double tape if you get what I'm saying I think the stylist had placed tape on top of the tape uh, if you get what I'm saying, that was on the, on the um, extensions. And I, that's what I was showing her when she turned around. And she was like, whoa, really? I'm like, yeah, she it was already taped on there. And then she put more tape, if that makes sense. That was crazy. So that's why I said some people pieces were hard to get off. Sometimes this is why other stylists say, oh, I do not go over another stylist's work because it do be difficult um, to work with. But um, when I do mine, it is not hard to remove because I use a simple, easy method. I do not double the tape. about me and the services that I do provide. I travel back and forth from California to Michigan. Um, I used to live in California. I moved there to 
pursue my career as a celebrity hairstylist and it did actually work out um and now my second location is in michigan so if you are in those two states feel free to contact me and i do travel to other states as well but my two main locations are california and michigan i specialize in most uh, hair extensions services sew-in weaves braidless weaves micro links eye tips tapians i do knotless braids human hair uh, braids the boho braids i do the soft locks the butterfly locks basically extensions anything that's extensions you name it i can do it feel free to contact me So once I get all the extensions out, what I did was wash her hair with a clarifying shampoo, turned around and washed it again with a moisturizing shampoo, and then I gave her a deep conditioning treatment. We kept the micro links in, all I did was tighten those up and sent her on her merry way. Her next appointment, she added more micro links, so that's what she get now. She only like to get the micro links, no more tape bands for her. catch myself i'm like oops because i'm so used to always grabbing my oil and oil and all my clients scalp and that's the oil that i actually do make and i'm like oh dang it and then i grabbed the right stuff which was the dissolvent uh, but yeah i'm like i'm so used to grabbing that oil Get after you spray it, rub it together, rub it together, and slide that rat tail comb right between each piece.
the oil that I do make. And I've seen that she had like some sores and some dry spots. So I went ahead and oiled her scalp, rubbed it in, massaged it, just to heal her scalp before I get ready to wash it. Okay, so now what we have left are the micro links. I'm going to, like I said earlier, wash her hair, tighten up those micro links, and yeah, I'll send her on her merry way. child all right everything is done everything is out that definitely was a test but hey i enjoy and love doing what i do if you have any questions comments or just looking to book leave your comment down below